Hello everyone, welcome to Citizen Science Month, and thank you for your interest in participating. This video is a short tutorial on how to get started, and these slides will be made available to you. The three projects for Citizen Science Month include Pollinators of Arizona State University, Flowering Plants of Arizona State University, and Stall Catchers. So what are pollinators and why are they important? Pollinators include bees, birds such as hummingbirds, bats such as the lesser long-nosed bat, butterflies, beetles, and small mammals that provide an important ecosystem service of pollinating plants. Not only do they pollinate plants, but they help to increase carbon sequestration, prevent soil erosion, and they're responsible for one out of every three bites of food you eat. But pollinators are declining due to climate change, chemical usage with pesticides, diseases, and loss of habitat and food. Pollinators contribute billions of dollars to the global economy every year by indirectly benefiting the agricultural sector. It would cost less for us to preemptively act to conserve them than it would cost to lose their ecosystem service and fill the void left behind. All right, and to get started for Citizen Science Month, navigate to SciStarter.org. If the projects aren't listed on the front page, you can go to Project Finder, type in Arizona State University, and the three projects will be listed. If you haven't used SciStarter before, you can create an account by going to sign up in the top right corner. Once you hit sign up, it'll take you to this screen. We ask that you use your ASU email address and modify your email to create your username like the example given. So jclements at asu.edu would be jclements ASU. If you're not an ASU student, you can use whichever email and username you prefer. SciStarter will serve as the home base for citizen science at Arizona State University. But for the projects on pollinators and flowers at ASU, you'll need a second account in iNaturalist. SciStarter collects information on participation for citizen science, but iNaturalist is where you'll upload your photos of pollinator species and flower species. So if you navigate to one of those two projects, say the pollinators project, it will take you to the project profile. Now that you're on the profile for Pollinators of Arizona State University, you can see a project description as well as a visit button underneath the profile picture. If you click the visit button, it will redirect you to iNaturalist. Having been redirected to iNaturalist for the Pollinators of Arizona State University project, if you haven't already, create a, an account for iNaturalist by clicking sign up in the top right corner. And we ask that you use the same method you used for the SciStarter account, so same email and same username. iNaturalist does have an app that you can download onto your phone, and then you can just upload your photos directly into the app. Now that you have set up a SciStarter and iNaturalist account, grab your mask and camera and head to your nearest campus. You'll want to dedicate at least an hour to collecting observations. You could either walk around campus and take photos of pollinators and flowers, or find a garden and camp out for an hour to take photos of all pollinators that visit the flowers. We ask that you take photos of at least six different pollinator species and six different flower species. Be sure to keep the subject of the photo in close range and make the photo as clear as possible for easier identification. The photos shown on the slide are examples of what iNaturalists would consider research grade photos. An example of a picture that does not meet criteria is this picture I took of a hummingbird on Polytechnic campus. The hummingbird is too far away and the image is too blurry for proper identification. But before you toss out a photo, try cropping the photo to bring the subject matter into frame. Now that you've taken photos of six different pollinators and six different flower species, go to iNaturalist and click upload in the top right corner. This will redirect you to a Dropbox for iNaturalist. So you could either go project to project and say, drop all the pollinator species photos into the box and then upload those and then do the flower species and upload those to the flower project. Or you could drop all the photos for both pollinator species and flower species into the box and iNaturalist will sort them into their projects by taxa. But before you submit your observations, you have to edit each observation. So if you click species name under each photo, it will give you suggestions for species ID. 
you can view different species and try and find the best species that fits what you saw on campus and what you took a photo of. The date and time should automatically fill. The location will automatically fill if you have geo tracking on on your phone. But if it doesn't, if you click that box, it will take you to a map. And if you switch the satellite view, you can actually drop a pin on campus in a very accurate location. But once you've edited all your photos, all 12, you can hit submit and they'll be sorted to their projects. There is a notes section for each observation, which is optional, but if there's anything that you find would be pertinent information, you can put that in the notes. Having discussed primarily the pollinator project in length, this is just a reminder that these steps also apply to the flowering plants of Arizona State University Project 2. Make sure to keep the flowers in focus and that the photos are not blurry. Use the species ID in the upload section to find the best match for the flowers you saw on campus. We hope to create an index of flowers found on ASU campus and potentially plant more wildflowers and milkweed for pollinating species. Also, it wasn't mentioned apart from the second slide, but there is a third project on SciStarter called Stall Catchers that gives you an opportunity to help with Alzheimer's research. We hope this will be an educational and fun experience for you, that you'll find a new passion for pollinators, flowers, and citizen science. And once again, thank you for your interest in participating.